We're back at Paul and Sue's job that we did for the footing job. I didn't think it was going to be back as quick. Um, sorry about the noise already. Uh, we've got Paul in the background there. Just there. Um, he is, well, today we're double teaming uh, all that concrete slab. We're gonna, you're gonna bring it all out, bring it all down. We're gonna bring it down, bring the building down. Um, he's actually gone out and bought a, a concrete breaker himself. It's, I don't know if it's gonna be noisy or not. It's the uh, McAllister from Screwfix, and he's. Um, it sounds like he's got a little bit more punch than mine does. So. Um, so yeah, we're going to get on with that. Um, I'll do a little bit of video, it's going to be a noisy one, so I don't really want to do too much of it, but these two breakers, we've got the Titan breaker and then McAllister breaker. Hearing protection is going to be a must today, probably eye protection, but anyway. Um, I'll cry about that once I get some stored in my eye. Uh, so yeah. I'll talk to you later once it's a bit quieter. All right, guys. A lot of concrete guys fortunately it's breaking up very nice looks like a rocky road doesn't it <laughs> yeah nice and easy And this was put down. Did 
just said to the camera, it's like Rocky Road, isn't it? Aye. The, the kind of construction and layers of it. Well, that's ideal, that one. Well, that's ideal because it breaks up easier. Not from that point of view, it's. Oh, sorry? From that point of view, it's alright. Yeah. yeah.
Lovely little tractor this. Little Kubota. No it's not. I'm talking to camera. Nice little Yanma. FX 20D. I think it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be even better if that was hydrostatic this, wouldn't it? Have you ever drove an hydrostatic? Well, it's sort of is though, isn't it? Well, it's got a clutch on it. Yeah. You don't, um, it's just a forward and a backwards pedal in it, but lovely tracks. It drives, it drives really nice, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. What year is it? Do you know? <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely track, too. A lot of people, uh, a lot, well, a lot of the channels I watch on, on YouTube, they've all got these little compact tractors and they're ideal. Mm -hmm. They're really nice. It's main jobs to keep the field cut. Yeah. It's all like the range on them. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. I wonder which way the stench goes. The man all over there. Mm -hmm. And then out that way somehow.
I think this is going to be one of those satisfying moments. Moment. <laughs> I've just chipped up these tiles here. They're all bonded in by a slurry bit, like a, a screen mix. Oh no, it's got a bit on it, isn't it? give you guys my honest opinion on a tool that uh, Paul genuinely bought himself he went to screw fix and uh, he bought he bought this this tool now you'll have seen it in video that's obviously coming out but that well it's that, well, I might tie it in whatever but honestly what right how much did you pay for it Paul can you remember two, about 220 I think it was this on online 130, oh, 130. That's a Jesus, 130 quid near nylon from Screwfix, and this it, it is the McAllister. Now some people see McAllister and go it's cheap shit, but I tell you what, I'm impressed with this one. So it's it's the concrete breaker. It's a bloody heavy thing. Uh, it's the McAllister MSBR1700A and um, <laughs> yeah it's, it's I've got the Titan uh, over here I've got the Titan one and that's pretty much same same specish like same what same power but this has got a better dual force so this is this is 60 whereas mine's 40 and i tell you you can't have felt difference in working it um well impressed comes with this standard uh point and flat chisel on them there you go see uh quick release chuck on it as well all anti-vibration however you still feel it if you're working it all day um but yeah, fantastic. <laughs> I'm well impressed with this one. Like, I mean, I didn't pay much for my Titan one when I bought it either. But for this, ideal. 
and others have give their opinions on it as well on on the screw fix reviews and they, they like it as well they all say oh i'll take it to the grave with me and whatnot but it really is it really is that good so yeah there's that quick release there you just give it a quarter a quarter or a half turn and it pops out but um yeah got a trigger lock there as well so you can keep it going continuously um i think we're not sure if it takes grease or oil. I haven't read through the instructions myself on this, um, but I think it takes like a, a grease or an oil anyway. That goes at the bottom here. Just in there. But yeah. Well impressed with the McAllister concrete breaker. Are you, are you happy with it? I think you're happy with it as well, aren't you, Paul? Um, so yeah, that's uh, if you're in market for. Um, a concrete breaker and you don't want to break your bank <laughs> do you see what i did there um screw fix mcallister concrete breaker uh i don't think you can go wrong and once you're done with it you can sell it for almost new price as well well touch something like that so yeah get yourselves the screw fix go get yourselves one i'm not affiliated by this either <laughs> so i don't think i'm plugging it so right i just wanted to give you my two pence worth